All right, so when I'm soldering to a circuit board, I always wanna start by getting a little bit of solder on my wires themselves. Now, soldered iron is very hot. You don't wanna to touch this metal part at all. Uh, and basically this solder, what it is, it's metal that melts very, you know, very easily, just like that. And it, it makes a good electrical connection. So I'm just gonna bring my soldering iron in and kind of heat up my wire a little bit and then bring in the solder. All you're trying to do is get a glob of solder on the end of that wire. Now, all I need to do is heat up the glob that I have on my wire and heat it up so that it attaches to the circuit board. And you can see just like that, that's all it really takes. The only thing I need to be careful of here is these nodes are very close together. So I wanna make sure that my solder doesn't touch both of the nodes, just one to each. If they touch both of the nodes, then it's just gonna continuously go off. So you can see my soldering points there do not look great, but it doesn't really matter. All it needs to do is make a good connection and make sure I don't have any solder that goes from one node to the next. So now that I've got it soldered, and again, I'm not actually adapting this toy, so I did not run my head for phone jack wire through my toy yet. I need to do that first. I need to drill a hole, get this through the hole, and then solder. Um, but before we're, we put everything back together, we need to make sure that it works. So I'll grab a button, make sure my toy is on, and I'll plug it in, and I'll give it a press. As long as everything works, you're good to go, and you're ready to put everything back together.